Hi kids welcome to Drona Edu Today we are going to talk about your fifth standard second chapter the name family What is family Family as you know it includes lot of members Who are all these like your grandparents parents uncle aunt children cousins and many other members right yes a family has lot of members or sometimes a little little members as well so if we see a family all the members of the family are very very important for an example you see this particular tree what do you see in this tree you see a lot of branches right yes even the family members are also like the branches then is branches really important for the tree definitely branches are really important for the tree why without the branches does the tree look good or does you get leaf from or do you get leaves from the tree without the branches no right same family members are also very very important so there is a saying where the family members are also considered to be the branches of the tree how you can also write a family tree what what did i just say family tree yes a family tree can be written in order to identify the relationship and their generations oh have you so many terms right yes these terms are really important for you like a family tree what is this family tree a family tree is a written representation of the members of the family and it easily gives us how the family can be identified their relationship so how do we write the family tree definitely we will learn it today but before learning the family tree we will see what are the major signs which are involved in the family tree if you see this by identifying each of the signs you can easily get to know whether what type of member of the family it represents then let us quickly learn it so what is the first sign the first sign which you can see is a square so this square refers to the gender male of the family for example your uncle grandfather father brother all come under this particular square then what about the female like your grandmom and aunt yes female also is been represented in the sign of a circle is it really understanding right and easy to guess whether they are male or female we also have another two signs where the third sign represents husband and wife as well as there is one more sign which is really important which is the fourth sign you can see here the fourth sign represents children born to the father and mother i is it really interesting right and you can easily write a family tree using these signs definitely then i shall give you a quick good example you can see a picture here consisting four members so what do you see in this picture you can see a mother a father and their two children right yes let us write a diagrammatic representation of their family tree yes we'll write it and see how does it appear so when i see this particular diagrammatic representation of family tree is it really easy to identify 
who is the mother, father and their children, right? Compared to the before picture, if you see, that picture just made four of people standing and it was just a plain picture. But once we write the family tree, it's very easily identified by their relation, correct? So, if we have seen this particular example and have written a family tree, then we should also identify their relationship using the family tree, right? Yes, family tree can also identify what is their relationship status between each member of the family. Let us learn it then. You can see in this picture there are four people. But I'll tell you one good example and tell me how they are related. Okay? You can see here the top person is Ram's mom. The middle person is Ram. And the third person would be Ram's son. So tell me now. How is Ram's mom related to Ram's son? Just think and it's very easy because you can clearly see what is the diagrammatic representation here. So when we see these things, don't you feel Ram's mom is the grandmother of Ram's son? So Ram's son would be the grandson of Ram's mother. It's a very easy method to identify the relationship. So once you write the family tree, it will be very easy for us to identify who are they. And even though if it's a huge family, you can still write a family tree and it clearly explains to you. One more point to remember, always family tree is written in the form of seniority. What is this seniority? For example, who is the eldest of our family? Grandparents, right? So, grandparents will be considered as the more senior people. Then, they are also termed as first generation. So, in this picture, you can clearly see what are generations. I am using a title called generation. So this generation is also very important. How you can easily identify what type of family are they. Before I go to the types, let us see in this picture how many generations are there. Generations, as I told you, depends upon the seniority or elderly people in the family then this picture gives a perfect match how see here here consider you to be one of the children here then the grand your grandparents will be considered as the first generation then what about your parents your parents will be considered as second generation then you you will be considered as third generation. It's really nice, right? Where you can easily identify which generations also they belong to. See, family tree helps us a lot many things. You can easily identify and write how they are related to as well as what generation they belong to.